swear to things I could do to you. <laughs> Ugh, it is leering at me once again. Oh, <laughs> did I say that out loud? You couldn't hurt me if you wanted to, witch. You know that, yeah. Tis so. Dwarves resist magic, woman. There's nothing you could do. Nothing? Hmm. I could not, for instance, kick you in your manhood. Oh, ho. Oh. <laughs> do you wish to see? Uh, not necessary. Well, the offer stands. That is a most offensive odor. And you're looking at me? Should I be looking elsewhere? Have you forgotten about the fish you stored in your backpack, perhaps? I was saving it. Won't be ready for the lie for at least another day. Even the chastened did not have such disgusting habits, and they consumed the flesh of the dead. Fine, fine. I'll soak it in the lie now. Have it your way, Miss Squeamish. That's not what I... Uh, no, never mind. Just get it over with, quickly. <sighs> so you can turn into animals, eh? Like cats and wolves? When the desire strikes me. Have you ever, uh, you know, went into winter? <sighs> That's a most curious little mind you have, Dwarf. And what if I had? Would that thought comfort you during your lonely nights? Have you ever changed during? Why are you suddenly asking me this? How do we know you're truly a woman? Or even a human? You could be a chip mouse or a nug. <laughs> Imagine that. Why, yes. I am actually a nug in human form. I have come to observe your kind. Hey, nugs are good with extra sauce. I'm just saying. Lay your hand on me once more, dwarf, and the moment shall be your last. Uh, don't take it personally. I stepped on a rock. You don't want me to fall and break my neck, do you? The prospect would not trouble me over much. <laughs> you sound just like Bronca. Then I commend her good sense. But this is the last time I will tell you. Touch me no more. <sighs> Bronca said that too. Have you ever thought of getting yourself a husband, Morgan? It might do you some good, you know. Tie myself to another with bonds of servitude. It serves no purpose. Aw, oh, don't you want little Morgans running around someday? <laughs> the bitter pad of little witchy feet. <laughs> you say that as if one is necessary for the other to follow. My mother needed no husband to have her daughters. But you're no ugly old forest witch. I'm sure you can land yourself a proper husband if you just show a bit more skin. Is that how you landed your own wife? No wonder she turned to her own sex for comfort. Now that's just mean. Ugh, you are a disgusting creature, dwarf. Did you believe I would not see you? Ugh, that scarf was my own. Ah, I had to blow my nose. Blasted surface air tickles the nostrils. You had no right to take what was not yours. Don't be such a squealing nug. You can use my handkerchief any time. If you have a handkerchief, then why not use it? Eh, too dirty. Yours was cleaner. Oh, this is intolerable! Don't force me to test that dwarven resistance of yours, fool. Promises, promises. 